Here we will get into and start a late model Porsche with the company's entry and drive system and visible keyholes like this Panamera, or with a split door handle hiding the keyhole specifically and exclusively with the Cayenne. The back end of its door handle needs to be removed. First we will retrieve the mechanical key hiding in the fob. Take the fob off its key ring. We have some flexibility you likely will not have. Turning over the fob, look for a small slide lever near the key ring side. Slide it to the side with a fingernail and pull the lever toward the top at the same time. The key will slide out of the fob. If a keyhole is visible, simply insert the mechanical key and turn and you're in. If it is not visible, as in the later model Cayenne, look for a separation in the driver's door handle towards the back as shown. It marks a cover hiding the keyhole that needs to be removed. Look beneath the cover for a slot, as seen here. Slide the mechanical key in as far up as it will go and pull the cover away from the car, exposing the keyhole. Insert the mechanical key in the now visible keyhole and turn, and you're in. Now note two items. First, if the car is not started within 10 seconds, the alarm will be triggered. It will go off once the car is started. Second, if you do not have any interior lights or other electronics, like the alarm, the car's 12 volt start battery is likely dead and you will need roadside assistance. But it won't hurt to give the following a try. We'll now get the car started. Porsche first introduced its entry and drive system in the 2010 Panamera. Your vehicle may not be equipped with the full system, in which case you'll need only to plug your key fob into the ignition switch as you normally would and start the vehicle. The switch will recognize the fob even if the FOB's internal battery is dead. If your model is fully equipped, there is a dummy key in the ignition switch that must be removed. You can follow the instructions in the owner's manual, or you could do this instead. While stepping on the brake, make a first attempt to start it. The instrument panel then tells you that the key is not present. Make a second attempt to start the car within a few seconds and, translated, the instrument panel now tells you the dummy key has been released and can be pulled out. Do so and use your key fob to start the vehicle. We will never understand why this is not the instruction shown in the owner's manual, but please ignore its advice and get safely into your car to get it started. For the record, the owner's manual would have you remove the fuse box cover on the left side of the dashboard. Remove the special tool on the back side of the door. Use the hook end to remove this small cover near the dummy key, which is now lost. Invert the tool to press this now exposed button and pull out the dummy key. Now your key fob can be inserted into the ignition switch, and as before, your fob will be recognized and the vehicle will start. Don't do this. Part, if not all, of this process must be done from outside the car, leaving you exposed and vulnerable to the elements or anyone who might want to do you harm. Instead, stay safely in your car, and you'll be ready to go. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. Once that is done, the dummy key can simply be plugged back into the ignition switch. For help with other keyless or push-button start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube, subscribe to this channel, or go to dashboardsymbols.com.